everyone and welcome to my new video what is this video about well it's time for day 15 of the 80 cent of classic breaks and that's O, and that can only mean one thing and that is owed to billy joe um which i had to do a little bit of digging to find out um who this is by or what the original is or whatever but and i've tracked it down as this this is by Lou Donaldson. Whether or not it is an original or a cover, I don't know. But I'm pretty certain that the version that I will post to the original in the chat is the one that I have here right in front of me. So, again, this one is juicy. Much like the last one we did yesterday, what was that, N for New Orleans? I think this, this sounds like it's come right off of the Prodigy's Fat of the Land. And I think it's in mono. I suddenly realized that I wasn't actually, um, well, I, I, I'd taken a break from actually inspecting some of the stereo field of, of these and making decisions about that. But on this occasion, um, I'm not going to need to worry about that because I think it's mono anyway. Right, so let's turn warp on. Let's um, set it to beats. Let's do that now. Um, so, right, th wow. We are at a weird tempo. Let's half... Okay, that was already a good decision. Right, let's right click uh, this transient and say set one here. Let's pull that in there. Um, okay, that's all pretty good. Let's turn loop on. Let's maybe nudge this one along a little bit and get it where we want it. Check that it all loops okay. Okay, that snare is a bit late. So yeah, I, sometimes when I'm quantizing, it can be like a little bit of a toss up between doing it manually and sort of, it, it, you can do a couple manually and then when you do it um, like automatically, it's more accurate. Whereas if you just kind of have something with, with no one, no start position and you try and quantize it, Ableton will just go, I don't understand. But if you give it a one and a two and a four or whatever, it does a slightly better job. Yeah, I think that's... I think maybe I would like these all on the grid, please. This one, less so much, because that's kind of a... It's not really a... But these ones, I do. Okay. Okay, this one on the end is a little... Ah, that's because it's not quite on the... That's better. Right, good stuff. So if we zoom in now... Where's the zoom? We zoom all the way in and zoom away. No, it didn't do that. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Ignore what I just said. Okay. So more of the normal stuff. Let's set it to forwards only transient. Let's go up in pitch. Come down until there's no gaps. Whoop. Yeah, maybe one more. One more. Yeah, that's fine. Let's bring in the upcycler. So maybe what I might do, even though I'm not going to use it, is um, put the utility in here and then maybe save this um, as... Uh, save it at... Um, yes, that's fine. Copy and save it as the upcycler. Yes, overwrite it. So now maybe if I drag that back in, then the utility is there. Okay, good. I, I don't really do these instrument rack things. I, I, I've, it's never really sort of entered my system. Maybe things would be quicker, but then I generally sort of don't really work when I need to work quick. I'm rarely in situations when I need to work fast, but I am in situations where I prefer to work fast. And then I just kind of just do everything the long way, but quickly. <laughs> I'm not the I'm not the work smart, not work hard generation. I'm the work hard generation. Okay. Was it work fast? Work, no, not work smart. Work smart, not hard on whatever. Who cares? Right, let's uh, create a new track here. Let's uh, rename this Ode to Billy Joe. I've just realized I've spelled it wrong in the type project title. Ned Rush. Oh, and I spelled my name wrong. Ned Rush. It's not my name. It's a fake name I use for the internet. Right. Set it to resample. 
Actually, that kick drum is a little weird. I don't really care. Um, let's just record it and move on. Just no time in the day. Right, here we go. This time. Beautiful. Let's have a look at it. Set it to repitch. Save it. Now, whenever I pull that clip in, it's going to load with all of these settings. That transient there is a touch late. I don't care. Let's hear it at like 175. Yeah, I mean, these are good. Yeah, that is rave. Yeah, very nice. Okay, beautiful. So that was O for Ode to Billy Joe by Lou Donaldson on the A to Z of Classic Breaks. And tomorrow it's P. So let's do, is it P? M-N-O-P, of course it is. Let's do, uh, let's make a scene for P to remind myself to have a P. Um, okay, that's it. See you tomorrow for P. Nice one. Check out the Patreon, check out the links. Bye.